pictures that uh, that Houston and uh, I forgot his teammate's name. Easy. Easy are running. It actually makes sense for like to just want to go to PS2, especially if one of them's rocking the Rob. Then, yeah, uh, be able to get a little bit more of that zoning pressure in, and then of course Peach is an utter terror in this game. The Peach character specialist, like we always like really admired watching them play in the previous game, and like we knew that they were good and they were able to get good results. But like now, now they're just utterly terrifying because they can just like go, they can overclock their hands now in a way that they couldn't in Smash 4, yeah. and like still get even more output from their character. Yeah, have you seen like jump cancel fast fall like nair trains from? From Peaches, I've, that's some crazy I've stuff. I've seen like rapid fire machine gun bears on shield, and oh, it's yeah. just like, when do you get to breathe <laughs> against this pressure? Who, who knows, man. But yeah, they're sticking with their uh, Smash 4 characters. Uh, it makes sense, like both of them, like I said before, they received significant uh, improvements uh, from their last game. I did that K9 and uh, SS are actually rocking the yellow team. Usually uh, don't get to play as the yellow team, so it's actually pretty cool. Yeah. Wow, already uh, so much going on between uh, these characters. Some Nair trains and uh, juggles going on, ping pongs all it, over the place. It's mostly the, the blue team with so much control. And I think a big part of it is they have the point like pressure of Houston's Peach, and then you have Easy's Rob in the back firing off all these tops and lasers for that extra support. But because Peach gets the float, they all go under her legs. So right. she's completely fine, and it's keeping the opponent's pin. And then, of course, also Peach with these long-lasting hitboxes. Going to be able to make it back to the stage. And oh, Fair already taking the stock. From, like, center stage Pokemon Stadium. Oh, wait. Did did the Inkling hit Houston on the way down, or did Houston just die on his own at the same Houston, time? Houston directional air dodge. That's what happened. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he just, did, like, drifted on the bottom. Oh, almost had a ping pong situation going, but uh, it's kind of hard to get that, uh, uh, at least in the earlier stages where you're not quite sure where the trajectory might be. Oh, yeah, yeah. It uh, comes with time. Yeah. I also, I guess balloon knockback might be able to, might affect that slightly because they, they kind of just teleport right in front of you instead of, uh, instead of like you see their, their, their movement. But the plus side is hitboxes tend to come out faster in this game too. Yeah. So like, you are also able to, to put out your hitbox. You just kind of predict it a little bit more. Right. But we still do have Easy on his first stock and still keeping to his game plan as, as that support for, for Houston's aggression. Uh -huh. And like Yellow Team is kind of caught in this awkward situation because they, they know that if they just try to run back past Houston to pressure Easy, that Houston could just turn around and kill them for it. Right. Uh, so they just are, are right now being forced to play the ideal game for Blue Team. But instead, they're playing with it and just finding these kills on Houston. Houston, though, finding an unfortunate kill on Easy in the process at least takes the, the stock from the opposing team as well. They're yeah. able to keep up essentially like a half a stock lead, now a full stock lead. Yeah, so Easy and Houston uh, with the lead right now, very significant for both these two. And of course, uh, this is on Pokemon Stadium, so on the top, it's, uh, it's a very short ceiling. Uh, I think the shortest ceiling actually in the game, along with uh, Yoshi's Island. So yeah. That's going to be uh, significant as well. And you already see uh, the Rob throwing out those side Bs. I mean, that is a kill move yeah. in this game for whatever reason. Especially, yeah, K9 at that 80, 90% range. Like, that's that's serious stuff off stage. Yeah. Off yeah. smash going to take out Houston stock, though. But again, the, the support that Easy was doing, uh, such a great job stock tanking. So it doesn't really matter for Houston. It just gets to bounce right back into it with a K9 at critical percent and the backer actually closing out SS first. K9 is going to really need to make this work. He's being coaxed to the far end of the blast zone with Houston's float. He's not really able to find any sword swing that he wants. I think that was a really smart option. Oh, wow. Yeah, the somewhere over the rainbow. Going to find that stock. But yeah, the I think the way that Easy took out that stock from SS is that he used the, the Rob Uppy and then uh, got the backer after um, Houston put them up in the air. Yeah, so yeah. That was really smart usage of Rob's movement options to be able to still extend the combo even though he used up his jump earlier. It's kind of a way for Rob to float too, right? Yeah. And that way, that way, like, just the ability to float in place in doubles is so important because sometimes, like, the timing, it takes the opponent, like, a, like your teammate, rather, like, half a second longer to find the opening that they're looking for because you guys have, like, a team combo in mind. Yeah. And, like, that just gives them that flexibility so, like, they don't need to, like, spam grab immediately, right? They can play, like, that little fraction of neutral to just try to bait something out and find their opening from there. Right. Because um, otherwise, like, yeah, if the, if the opposing team is paying attention and they see your, their teammate double jump up to a location, they're like, they're looking to toss me up there with something. Like, I'm just going to back off. But if you can exist up there for a full second, it's a lot harder for them to, like, stay untouchable for that long. But, yeah, that, the Rob the Rob Peach, I, I really like the way they were playing neutral. I like just their overall game plan, too. Um, easy doing just fantastic support work and just Houston 
finding so much value through his uh, his Peach's uh, damage output. Right. And we have now K9 going to the Cloud. And this is something that we talked about at the very beginning of today, Sedge, is just how good is Cloud now in doubles? We, we actually don't really know. A lot of, I've heard, not a lot of people, but a few people in my region say, I think Cloud's probably still just as good as he used to be. Like, maybe slightly worse because he don't get a hold on to limit forever until the opening. But like, throw into finishing touch is probably still a thing that kills yeah. stupidly early. I think that at the end of the doubles meta in Smash 4, we were starting to see the counterplay to just denying Cloud his opportunities to get those Nair combos into finishing touch. They're so strong, but yeah. they, like people's neutrals were getting better to avoid those scenarios. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we didn't quite get to see that point because new game and stuff like that. And also a lot of events just banned Cloud in general. Yeah. He, so, he, his saturation point in the previous game was kind of absurd. Yeah, it's very true. So I think now um, Cloud is a, a little bit more fair, but I still think he's, he's got those He's still got those huge hitboxes, and he's still got those opportunities, and he's got those great moves to be able to start juggle situations. Yeah. We'll so. see what happens from there. I do like this immediate change in the game plan with uh, K9 and SS, where SS is actually looks to be keeping up a lot more pressure on uh, Easy actively, right. so that Easy just doesn't get to chill in the back line. Both K9 and SS are closing that space. They just want to take out this robot. All right, fourth throw. Yes, Ooh. I love it. They're focusing only on ping-ponging the big robot because he's such a huge target. He's combo yeah. food. Oh, oh, almost. But yeah. uh, SS wasn't able to let go of the jab fast enough. It's a little bit of a delay in this game. Yeah, I, I like the attempt, though. Like, yeah. not, not trying to fish for a grab and get it. Like, use the opportunities you have available with those directional hits instead. And, and the plan is just, I, I love it, right? It's just they recognized fully what the problem was last time. They were they were playing the game the way that Houston and Easy wanted them to. And now the Bruce Brothers are like, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's change the script. Right. Oh yeah, now Cloud's L wind is much more useful because projectiles just just in general are much more useful. You just called his blade beam L wind? Oh shit. <laughs> 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 Sorry. It, it look, okay, to be fair, it, <laughs> it does, does. It looks like the wind animation in Fire Emblem. It, it actually does look like the same graphic. Like, I would not be surprised if they just slightly edited it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But, like, it is still funny to call it Elwin. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cloud, nowhere to go. Uh, trying to drip back to the stage for Houston to be able to call that out. But SS doing a good job, but still maintaining his stock. Hasn't lost it quite yet, but that will probably be it. Yep. Oh, and, and K9 too. I guess he lost his jump in the process. Yeah, just a two v uh, a two for one in that side B again. <laughs> Such a monster of a move. It looks so comical in the previous match games. So to see it like be a legitimate threat is uh, definitely a surprise. Yeah. Jump out. Of, uh, yeah, and then there's another option that Cloud has also. He's like his out of shield options are very strong in this game, mm -hmm. which is a much stronger option in general. Be, be, being able to have something out of shield. Yeah. The shield drop has been nerfed significantly. It, it, the value of it has gone up. Yeah. yeah. K9 and SS still keeping their eyes solely on Easy. Even when he gets like that off stage, maybe an edge guard situation on Houston, K9 stays on the robot with SS. Oh, oh my gosh! Beam just barely not able to get it. Still got the clip onto the stage first. Great awareness by the red team actually, because like one of them just like low profile and the other one jumped over it. All right, and we see uh, classic cloud stuff to throw out smash attacks and hitboxes. Hope it works out. Yeah. Man, Houston and Easy are doing an amazing job on survivability this time around on the second stock for both of them. Yeah, this is really tough, but unfortunately, Houston taking out Easy's stock and actually just the, the regular cross slash doing the job on Houston, but K9 at a really high bloody ascent. This is going to be his last limit to spend at this point. Sent off stage now by Easy, and Easy looking now for the spike to finish him off. Instead, Houston gets the up smash. Okay, never mind. K9 has that extra stock from SS. I missed that. Yeah. Oh yeah, but SS now at 126%, so you gotta be careful about that as well. So yeah. definitely, K9 probably gonna be the forefronter this time around, and then uh, SS will be the support. Uh, actually, I think they're not wavering from their game plan, because I think they realize if one of them tries to play support, then is gonna be able to be a better support than either of the two characters on the yellow team. And they were trying to, to keep that mitigated, but unfortunately, you can only do close combat for so long at 170%. Uses up the jump. Air dodge to the ground, but they don't really take the bait that time around. Cloud with limit still is a little bit scary, but he doesn't have any setups to do it into. Oh, that's probably it. No, oh, it's not. Oh, once again, but I'm just thinking this limit's about to go away, and he just tries to spend it ambitiously on the finishing touch. Barely whiffs on Houston. Yeah. Can I can bring this back. Yeah. He can bring it to a game three situation, but he's got to take out at least one of these characters first. And it's, it is within the realm of possibility for Cloud. He just needs to be able to find it. That's 
Oh, the air dodge into the platform. A great escape by K9. His absolute focus not being at all deterred. He's actually been able to hold off this 2v1 from a really strong team for a long time. Oh, the gyro mix ups into the down tilt. He but doesn't, doesn't get either of them. He doesn't roll into either one of their arms, but the forward air closes it out by Houston. And Easy and Houston move on. To